Oh, welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel, guys. Really good to be with you. My name is Ryan. Roll out these tutorials on M1 Finance to uh, provide awareness to passive investing 101. Uh, investing that can really break down a lot of barriers to entry for a lot of new investors out there that are, are, are seeking exposure to the market. They just don't know where to start. Uh, I provide the links to all of these M1 finance portfolios in the description of all my videos. You're welcome to click over there. Uh, take a look. Um, there, there is no commitment at all uh, required. I am affiliated with M1 Finance. If you do click on any of the links, I can receive a small compensation. Uh, if you do um, opt to make investing uh, part of your um, uh, part of your portfolio uh, through the M1 Finance opportunity, it's a good one. I've been with them for a couple years now, and this is my uh, Vanguard's sector specialty ETF portfolio. That's a mouthful. I understand. If you're a new investor and you don't understand what I'm talking about, a lot of people are kind of scared off by the prospects of owning single stock right away. And I think that's justified. I think you lack some diversification by seeking out single stock exposure on the onset. Although I do think it is an important element to, to any portfolio to have some exposure uh, to some of the big, large gems of the stock market, Dow 30, uh, et cetera, some of the dividend kings and aristocrats out there, some of your household names, Procter & Gamble, Coca-Cola, uh, Pepsi, to name a few, right? These are just wonderful companies that um, you know any retail investor out there can justify putting some capital to risk, becoming a participant in some of these uh, fine names. But this is for those investors that just want to buy into the uh, passive investing philosophy. Okay. And I seek out my passive opportunity using Vanguard products. You can really seek out a, a lot of different product offerings by a lot of different brokers out there that, that offer product, ETF products, mutual fund products, index funds. This is just how I choose to uh, seek my exposure to the market. I like the um, flexibility with ETFs uh, that they trade kind of like stock. Even though I invest in these and I do not trade in and out of them, I just fund them. Uh, I'm really attracted to the low cost um, uh, uh, opportunity with ETFs and they make money. They do really well and they can make a lot of money for a lot of people that want to get invested in the stock market and they don't have time to sit there uh, and babysit their investment over time. So welcome to the Vanguard Sector Specialty ETF Portfolio. This is one that I've had for just over two years. So I've been with the M1 Finance Opportunity for about two years with my two accounts. These are accounts that I chronicle all the time on the channel. Um, this was the first uh, account that I started. It just made perfect sense to me to enter into more of a passive type of a program with M1 to feel it out, uh, really get the aesthetics of the program, understand how to establish the accounts from scratch. Now, if you do opt to use my templates, you can do that. Uh, it makes some of the work a little bit uh, easier for you because they're already done. Um, but you, you, know, you can start the account, build the account how you see fit. Um, you can use mine, you can adjust it as you see fit. But you can see here the net cash flow at 12, just over 12,000, about 12,500 here, with the net gain at about uh, 5,500. The sector ETFs do render a small dividend. We're sitting on about $357 of total dividends rendered on the portfolio since inception. Not bad. Remember, this started here back when I started this with $1,500. So there's the starting amount right there at $1,532. Uh, $1 so it's, it's done quite well over the time. Here's the pandemic drop here on the chart. Um, we, we did fund this up here right at about that pandemic low. Um, so we, we were able to, to strategically buy the market, which I would uh, encourage everybody, if they're going to monitor the account and react to market fluctuation, react to the market when it goes down. Uh, by not doing what most people do and panicking their way out of the market, but by doing the opposite. That will be your secret recipe to success in investing. Um, do the opposite of what the masses are doing most of the time, and you'll end up succeeding over the long term. So we scroll down here, we see how I've got these divided up into the Vanguard slices. This is somewhat exploratory. Uh, some people have hit me up and say, why don't you just invest in VTI, Ryan? You could, uh, and I do. 
uh, I invest in the S&P 500 VOO in my wife's Roth IRA account, and um, I hold that in a much larger uh, position. I just liked how this allowed me to break the sectors into the 11 slices of the S&P 500 and then go into each and select the allocation that I wanted. Okay, I know that was a mouthful. Let me explain. I wanted to make sure that technology had the most inflow capability and the most money uh, devoted to it within this 11 product portfolio. So I asked this portfolio to flow 14% of all dollars uh, that flow into the portfolio uh, to technology. The next on the list was 13, 12 with financials, industrials at 9% discretionary and down the line. So I was able to control my allocation within this portfolio by basically building the account in this manner. If we go up here and we look at the performance of, of each of these, they are impressive. We're batting a thousand. For those that think that stock market is gambling, uh, I would uh, uh, I would caution you um, to uh, even render any level of credence to that observation about the stock market because you're not gonna get these results at a casino. It just doesn't work that way. And we're up significantly in a lot of these holdings. Um, let's see, the smallest sector of return here looks like utilities, which is uh, pretty common. Let's see what energy, ener even energy is outperforming. This is one of my highest dividend yielding sectors here. So, and with the allocation date percent, it's not surprised that that's one of the lowest returners. And then the highest of returners is Vanguard's technology, which look at that, over $1,000 uh, for a relatively small uh, overall value in these. So these slices don't have a whole lot, far less than $20,000 in this portfolio. Um, it's done quite well. I haven't owned it that long. I think the question for you guys who may be looking at uh, achieving a, a passive portfolio like the one that I have here, it doesn't have to be with the sector specialty ETFs. You could start an M1 finance account and just start with VOO. Very, very simple. Start with the S&P 500 that basically gives you exposure to all the companies, all 500 in the S&P 500, um, and, and call it a day. That could be a very, very powerful way of entering the market, dollar cost averaging into the market, funding it up over time, and enjoy the fruits of becoming an investor long term. Um, this is just really nice for me. This is a nice hybrid way of, of of really aligning what I feel like is the power of M1 Finance with the capability to split up the allocation and target dollars uh, the way that I have within M1 Finance. So uh, again, the links to these portfolios are provided in the description of all my videos. If you do click on any of the links, um, we can receive a small compensation on the channel, and I do, uh, for my time and providing the tutorial and referral to you guys. Um, I do all the work. Um, these are the portfolios that exist. Use them. Don't use them. Start an account uh, on your own. It's no big deal. The whole point of me coming on and providing awareness to a company like M1 Finance is because I think there's real value there for real investors. It's awesome. Once you get the account set up uh, on your desktop, which is usually not the most funnest in the, in the evolution of becoming an investor, but once you do and you become a little bit more familiar with M1 Finance, it's a lot of fun to monitor your portfolio on your iPhone. You've got it right there to monitor and look and see how the market's performing from day to day. You can kind of see your wealth grow over time. Those numbers over time just do get bigger. And if we do get a hiccup in the stock market, markets go up and they go down. Um, this would differs in my um, application about the stock market. Um, I don't look at the stock market uh, from a one-way perspective. The market's been conducive for 10, 11, 12 years on a, on a very, very strong bull market. That's why you see some of these renderings the way they, they are. In a down market, you could see some of this portfolio suffer. You could see it go south. You could see it turn on the chart a little bit. If that be the case, then I'm going to put some of my idle cash to work in this account and just buy the market. Very, very simple. So I do enjoy a, a fairly conservative dollar cost average schedule over this account. 
But over the long term, I'm looking to win long term with passive investing 101. And I roll this out as an example of how you can win uh, for not only yourself, but your family and friends. You know, you, you can uh, refer this portfolio to those folks that are looking for a really good starting account. I wish I would have had this when I started free investing, free dividend reinvestment. Uh, free account fees, everything across the board with M1 Finance is free of charge. It's really broken down a lot of barriers for a lot of investors out there. And it's aligned with my contention that eliminating fees within your investment thesis can make all the difference long term. Guys, I appreciate if you like the message coming through, make sure and subscribe to the channel, leave your comments at the bottom. And again, share the message with those investors that you think might resonate with the idea philosophy behind an account like M1 Finance. Bring them onto the channel. We'd be glad to have them. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into the message and good luck in your investment future.